Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and this is going to be a pretty short one, but a very cool video. I'm showing a technique that uh, we saw in this last war, and it works very well on these annoying Town Hall 11 bases that have the Town Hall really isolated in the middle. You can see he has nine skeleton spells queued up, and he's going to drop all of those on the Town Hall just basically invest all his spells, but it's definitely worth it, and I'll talk a little bit more specifically in just a moment. Real quick, before I start the attack, I want to say that the iTunes gift card giveaway, as well as the survey results, will be out very soon. Thank you guys for your participation in both those things. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed uh, your Christmas, as I've said in, uh, in the last video. So yeah, that being said, this is the attacker is Oas. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, hopefully that's not a Lord of the Rings name, because I know th I've... There's been a lot of those, and people always get mad in the comments when I don't know how to pronounce the Lord of the Rings characters, so um, I've never seen it, or I've seen it like once or twice, but it was a long time ago. I'm not a huge Lord of the Rings fan, uh, but yeah, so this attack is uh, very base specific. We'll talk a little more in a moment about when to use it, but let's just get right to it. Um, you can see just right off the bat, he drops the, I think, the Quake spell to begin with, and I think that's a good thing to do, get about, uh, you know, 20% damage or whatever it does, 15% on that town hall, uh, just right off the bat. Then he drops in, looks like a golem and a giant. I'm not sure why, I think that was an accident. Yeah, that had to be an accident. I have no idea why he did that. Um, anyway, drops down the rage, then all nine of those uh, skeleton spells. The queen actually does aggro a few skeletons, but they come down so fast when you have nine of them. Um, you can see how many were left up. They get to that wall actually very quickly. There's probably about a group of like 20 of them. And for some reason they run over to the CC. I don't know why they ran in that direction. But anyway, the point is, um, with those many skeleton spells and you gotta invest, don't take any chances. Invest the full like eight or nine or whatever it takes. Really go, um, go all for it and just put all your spells into it. You should be able to get the job done. Notice how I think one Inferno Tower could barely reach some of those skeletons. The other one couldn't. Those Infernos will do a ton of damage, so you got to make sure they're not in range for the most part. Um, I think there were a few Expos, but those aren't much to worry about. The point damage, um, in, unless it's like a Tesla, but they're... Even even the Tesla's aren't going to be that much of an issue. Um, as long as there's no splash damage, like, you know, mortars, wizard towers especially, bomb towers especially, um, that's the main thing to worry about. As long as you don't have that, um, a few point defense won't hurt. And like I said, the CC troops won't aggro. Um, the No traps are going to aggro the CC troops and any kind of like giant bombs or anything, if there's a possibility. Those won't uh, be triggered uh, because the skeleton the skeleton spells never trigger those. If you guys remember um, back when they were released, that was a big detail. Um, so you can see he just invests all of his troops and just taking out the outside of the base. He brought like 18 baby dragons, the king, a few wall breakers. And it does get a little bit close here because he doesn't have any spells to help out his troops. But you have such a leg up on the base when you don't have to worry about actually going in for the town hall because the town hall dive itself tends to be very inefficient as far as percentage goes. Um, you're investing a lot of troops, mainly, may, probably only getting about 30% of the base taken out because um, you're going straight for that town hall and typically it's a very difficult journey in there. So being able to invest all your troops for sheer percentage uh, is very much more efficient. He gets the extra 51 you know, percent. Uh, besides that town hall, he gets all of that just by dropping all those troops with no uh, spells. So very effective strategy. Maybe you guys can use it. Like I said, you got to be careful. Uh, know when it's not a good idea, um, especially when you got those infernos or splash damage in the area. The heroes can be an issue too, but the queen wasn't aggroing that many skeletons. And they when they're, when they're just flying in at that speed, um, a few of them are bound to ignore the queen and actually go for that town hall. One thing also that rage really helped. Um, drop two skeleton spells. Don't bring 11. Bring like nine and bring the rage because it's definitely worth it it gives those skeletons a boost um, to their damage and to their speed if they need it so that'll do it for this video hope you guys liked it a good attack to oas or oase or whatever and i'll see you guys in the next video bisect the tron out